guys this is astronox this is my europe account my third account i'm a free to play player and uh yeah i'm in arena legend this is the end of the week there's 12 minutes left and i had to do three refresh it was the first time i actually had to refresh to stay in legend so here's my win rate log and i, I did definitely get attacked more than uh, the usual this week so i did refresh three times it's gonna be one month in legend as a free to play player and i can show you the last battles that i had to do so there's some battles there that i use auxiliary lots with chaos sec axe and i have tagi, uh, tagi hill's ancient book for soul burning for 10 souls chaos sex uh, chaos sec axe's uh, skill 2 with uh, ton fights enough for me to kill Arbiter Vildred and then use skill 3 because I get an extra turn to uh, pop him again. And I have Ken and uh, Angelic Momorancy as backup in case things like <laughs> go sideways. Anyways, so I use that for uh, Freevia. Okay, use that. This Arbiter Vildred. I use that mm. actually there's some teams that I actually just tanked the revenge here I use auxiliary lots now uh, Vivio I use I just tanked with Angelic Momorancy Destina Ken and uh, Cecilia same my, I, my defense won so yeah uh, Freevia, that was the same deal. Uh, Jay Hayes, that was... What was that? Oh yeah, I just did it with Auxiliary Lots because I outsped ML Bell. Uh, I, I can outspeed ML Bell with the, what is it, 224 speed on, uh, on Lots. Thanos, I just tanked. I just tanked it, kill that with Ken and Cecilia. This team, this team I actually tanked this Arbiter Vildred, and I used Soul Burn of Ken to uh, get an extra turn, and when he comes back, killed him with. Uh, actually, I didn't even need to do that. I just like uh, healed my team, and I just killed him. That that was it. Rhapsody, I just outsped. I just outsped him uh, with auxiliary lots and uh, soul burn S2 on uh, axe. Um, Zerka, I tried to go in there with. Uh, I tried to tank the damage, but the debuffs from uh, from Bell were too much. Uh, if I brought a Katess, I think I can do it because she's gonna clear all debuffs. And with Angelic Momorancy, it, it didn't work properly. Superman is like sniping legend. I think uh, I think he went like 200 plus uh, points in, in the last hour or something like that. So there's players that they're just sniping legend. They, uh, they just go and kill. Like if they, they're confident they're going to outspeed, they're, they're just doing that. And I mean, he's probably just like uh, stunning their combat ridden as boosters with uh, Assassin Kali and then blowing up uh, Arbiter Vildreds uh, left and right. So I can revenge him and like tank the damage. I have one flag. There's there's enough time left. Help, I actually just I just tanked it. I just tanked it with Ken and Cecilia. Blazy. That was tanked as well. E ever since I replaced uh Akates with Angelic Momorancy with 100 uh just 110 effect resistance. It's definitely uh, been much better. Draco, well, just lost to my defense. Uh, Tamarind uh, killed my defense. And Professor Max and Rhapsody. Actually, Rhapsody, I believe, I actually killed uh, for the first time with Ken and Cecilia. And then this time, I just outsped ML uh, Bell. It wasn't much. It was like 5%. And uh, Professor Max as well, that was like a 5% or something like that. It was fairly close, maybe a 3%.
but uh, yeah, it allowed me to just like cleave them with uh, with uh, Chaos Tech Axe. Actually, there was a team. Where is it? There is a team where I just killed. I just sniped Vildred with skill three of Axe, and uh, after that, I was all good. I'm not sure which one it was. Okay, let's look for a Vildred. Hmm. Maybe it was Rhapsody. Oh, yeah. It, it was. That's how I killed Rhapsody, actually. I use Auxiliary Laws, give a turn uh, turn to uh, Chaos Tech Axe, and I S3 uh, Vildred, because if I go in Soulburn S2, it's, it might not be enough damage, because uh, Crimson Armin is just super annoying. She reduces uh, the amount of uh, critical damage by up to th between 20% 20 uh, 20 and 30%. On top of wearing Aureus, that's 10% defense increase for the team, and uh, between 15 and 20% damage being redirected onto uh, Crimson Armin. That's just so much survival. Uh, so I had to snipe Vildred to be sure that uh, the big damage was not, not coming my way. So yeah, all right, so let's just uh, back out, check if I got attacked. I don't know if it's refreshed automatically. Just gonna go back in there. No, that's the thing though, like when there's a few minutes left, players are not too confident in attacking a tanky setup. That's the defense I'm running. And I'm just gonna do an attack here. So three refresh was totally worth it. Why? Because I was actually in champion, like between, I believe I was champion one. After I, I w woke up, used my flags, I was in champion one, but I had to push in legend before before it was over. Uh, I'm getting 160 sky stones more for from the weekly reward. And not only that, but I was able to actually push into legend five. So yeah, that is uh, 210 sky stones and I only use 90 worth of refreshes so that got me more conquest point it was definitely worth it overall so let me just fight superman and i'm just gonna go with uh yeah with uh, this team assassin coley went against uh cecilia last time i fought him okay if she gets stunned. Ooh, she got stunned. This might. Oh god, if she get the fans down, man. Over 100% effect resistance. Oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me? No crit. No crit, she's too tanky. Oh my god, she died. God. I mean, it should be fine now. It's definitely fine now. That's it. Yo, that was a lot of damage. My Angelic Mumorancy is not built on speed. I know it'd be best if she was, but I'm not farming... Uh, I'm not farming Wyvern. So I'm farming Golem 11 and... Uh, I got her the, the highest speed on my team. It's just, it's too, it's too close. It's too close. Crit, crit, crit. Nope, that doesn't look like a crit at all. Uh, yeah, she's got the most speed, but it, it's such a small difference between the second highest that it's just soul burn. That it varies. It varies because of that uh, plus uh, five percent to minus five percent on the initial uh, speed or like combat readiness roll. Good lord, man! Chill already with uh, your damage, Kali. Resist. Mm. I mean, she's there, but might as well try to kill her. Try Luluka, cause 
Yeah, more damage with skill one. Finally. So Assassin Coley can be really uh, annoying. She's very strong. When she's in stealth, she's taking 50%. Any hero that is in stealth is taking 50% less damage from area damage. Area attacks. So yeah. So there is no way I'm reaching top 10. Just to show you guys like the ranking, right? Because it's about to end. That, that'd be a cool thing. Since the arena is going to close, we'll have a snapshot real quick. Let me open this really fast before it's over. Oh, God. Oh, my. I'll show my gear after this. Come on, internet. Oh, my God. I'm using a mobile connection. I don't have, I don't have internet, like, at, at home yet. Oh, my God. Give us the top 100 already, before it closes. Let's, let's snapshot it for all eternity. Okay. Look at that, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm, there's no time to comment, because like, it's gonna close. Overall, my season ranking was 18 before. You see Superman, he's number 15. But he, he was at like, Low 5,000. It's been like sniping these Arbiter Vildreds. There are so many teams that he can't snipe in there. There's some really tanky teams being formed. But Europe, the meta is definitely different. It's definitely different. People didn't have time to actually get all the OP heroes. All the OP Moonlight heroes. But uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely surprised at the amount of Arbiter Vildreds. That is for sure, man. Like, wow. Ever since Arbiter Vildred got buffed, man, it's been rough. Like, a lot of players have been uh, dropping in ranking. It's it's so much damage to tank, man. Oh, Tree Touch is playing. That's, uh, that's Trit uh, with a bunch of numbers in Global. He played... Uh, Tales of Eren before as well. Yeah, the meta is different and I don't know, maybe we never get dizzy. Maybe the collaboration never happens. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, man. That that wouldn't be bad, to be honest. Like, there's just... It, yeah, you can, you can counter dizzy. You can counter dizzy. But uh, it's just like ridiculous. Her strength, like how much just like power that was given to this hero the, the strength of those debuffs are just too strong uh so yeah what else so this oh wait it's over okay oh that's it because the week is over oh, but I, it's still there what something bugged out the arena is closed though so yeah, I'm in Legend 5. That's good. And was there something I wanted to show? There's no Hall of Fame yet. And yeah, that's it. So my gear is going to be shown in a second. It's just for the non-believers. It's like it always shows up in the comment section. Because it's a new month too. But with dedication and like I spend 15 hours on average playing the game. And uh, my sky stones, they are dropping quick. But uh, yeah, you can go check my farm forever video. I'll be farming a two energy stage when I'm out of sky stones. So whatever, man. I'll be farming the, the them fo uh, fathers and uh, friendship points. And uh, yeah, I'll keep going, man. I'll keep going and I'll spend most of the time like getting fathers and making six stars uh, versus farming gear, but still, I'm definitely uh, progressing. Uh, so that was the shop, and now the gear. So yeah, it, it's definitely not the easiest task to stay one month in, uh, in Legend uh, as free to play. I know I have auxiliary lots, right? Uh, 
so that's good but I would say uh, I didn't use auxiliary lots that much like the issue that I uh, that I had at the start of the week I, I would say for three to four days I was using fileless on my defense and it, it's way too easy to like avoid attacking her and uh, triggering this defense buff like the cleave damage is already happening toward your team and there's probably someone dead already before it actually triggers but uh, here's my skill ups Cecilia was definitely a massive uh, I mean I was really lucky to get her from the um, what's it called free five star summoning ticket Champion Zerato, I need to try him out. He's like not really built yet. I have 10 six stars. I could have had way more six stars than this if I just like, let me just show you. If I, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I was just dedicated to six starring heroes, of course I would have uh, more of them, but you have to balance your farming, you have to do hunts, and then when you have enough crafting materials, I just do like a, a 50 craft uh, video, and then after that, you, you've got uh, a few pieces in all slots crafted, and then you've got to hit the adventures because you need some uh, materials to enhance these items, and you just keep that cycle going, baby, and uh, you will progress so fast. It's just, it takes a lot of time to do all these things, and uh, the, the the runs and adventures they are very quick like they're like they're sub one minute so you have to pay attention you have to be there you have to press on those chests if you really want to like min max your energy and uh don't like don't miss anything of course i did miss a bunch of chests overall but uh yeah all all these uh bounty missions all these uh goblin uh, treasure cha uh, chambers that's like jewelry like this i like that's really good it, it's not like top tier but like this early on was definitely good i i put that on chaos x initially to up his survival but he's definitely not able to tank uh cleave damage in arena i would need crimson armin and i i think i would need to use double health percentage main stat items on the right side this is actually really powerful it actually just if it triggers it straight up remove the debuff so think about like luluka applying the fence down and you just trigger it and you remove it that's it that's what happens and uh when it's gonna be at plus 30 that's i believe 70 percent chance it's very powerful it's very powerful so yeah and you get extra stats because uh, especially as a free-to-play player, you wouldn't be running a plus 30 artifact. Uh, why am I showing? Anyways, I'll show these heroes. Uh, that's just a tamper set. Her? Yeah, that's a tamper set on Lorena. Just, just slapped whatever. I need to use her in Labyrinth for higher morale, like 36 or 35 team. I got really lucky with... Uh, my moonlight summons no natural five star but still i'm really happy with what i got two uh, church of Ariel's axe and then it was auxiliary lots and then it was guider ether after that it was fileless yeah i said it a bunch of times i need to get more health onto her to increase her maximum uh, uh, health pool i mean so her effective hp uh, so yeah, I use Angelic Momorancy in Arena now. She needs to, and I need to get this to plus 15. <clears throat> but she has high defense, but her base defense is actually high, so I'm like banking on uh, getting as much of that as possible and still keeping her with a healthy amount of, uh, well, HP. Uh, her effect resistance at above 100 is uh, where she should be. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've got these things she's plus 30 like i don't have that many six stars well 10 that's a lot of course but like look how much time i had to farm runes and when there was the double rune drop rate event man i was going uh, crazy on that i mean look like that's all that's left i don't have clary uh 
Do I have Rosid? I, I don't think I pulled him. But yeah. So, we're, and all my sixth awakenings. That's a lot of farming, guys. It's because I've been farming at the right places. I could do this one, I, I think. Yep, I can do it. It's just I'm not doing it yet. You see, like, that's plus 30. Uh, mascot Hazel. She's plus 27. A lot of grinding. A lot of grinding had to be done. I didn't show all my gear, right? But Akates, I was using her on defense. But it's just that, yeah, her skill 3 is very powerful. She removes debuffs and then she heals. Very, very strong uh, skill. The issue is, this is being granted to a hero that is like let's say it's on Cecilia and then Cecilia goes right after like she she loses that invincibility like pretty much right away versus now Angelic Momorancy she's getting what is it like 40 effect resistance straight off the bat from uh, the skill tree from her specialty change and then like with Prophet Candlestick like this is three turn cooldown this is two turn cooldown this is ridiculous if Prophet Candlestick triggers she can just spam skill two and it heals based on the allies max health so i'm running ken with 25k health i'm running cecilia with 22k health i'm running this tina with uh what is it like close to 20k so that is a lot of healing for them and uh Momrasi is built with more defense so this tina heals based on well skill two and three but heals based on her max health so she's healing angelica back to full kind of so that's really cool, and that's very, a very solid skill. The, the immunity, the spell 2, and the combat trainers that she gets. And this, like removing a debuff f from each ally and healing them, it's so good. I need to skill enhance this thing. I mean, she's like god. She's a godly healer, definitely. Destina, I was so fortunate to get from uh, the uh, Mystic Summons, but I just got her. I just got her, and before that, I was... I was running Ken and, uh, oh, what is it, Ken and um, Akates, Akates I got before Selective Summon, Ken is who I wanted at, during Selective Summon, that was my combo, I started the game with that and f I wanted to farm Golem 11, that was the whole purpose, that's the goal, I don't want to go for maximum speed anymore, I want to get as tanky as possible, tank turn 1 in PvP and just survive and start to take them out the issue is that cecilia and ken are fire so that's definitely a weakness in my team of course with me showing my stats and making videos uh I i'm pretty much getting attacked uh, more than i should by like players that are watching my videos they're like oh yeah okay i saw like he's talking about his his weaknesses all right i feel like my team can deal with him and like they see my stats stuff like that so yeah uh, by showing everyone, it's definitely not uh, helping me, but <laughs> at least I'm helping you guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, of course I'm helping uh, some people more th more than others. Uh, there's a lot of players that are quite knowledgeable, but uh, yeah, I did spend a lot of time with this game, and I en I enjoy every single minute of it. And my Cecilia, like she's not built super tanky, but man, like the damage she can deal is really cool. It's really cool because that crit chance and crit damage works beautifully with uh, the multiplier on skill 3 is very high. Uh, I love that hero. She's so good. She's so good. She can also carry Aureus. Uh, yeah, I'm having a blast with uh, Cecilia. Ken, of course, I mean, he's he's a god. He's a god. Totally word to go for him during Selective Summon. I, I just can't stress that enough. Like, <laughs> Vildred is very tempting, but... I don't know, like, Ken is just too good. Ken is just too good. His kit... I, I could just speak forever here. Uh, let me just cut this short because I think I'm going to run out of time uh, in this uh, recording. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. And also, I shown my stats. Th th yeah, 223 speed on auxiliary lots. And, yeah, Taggy Hill I got during the uh, Mystic Summons. Trying to get Destina or uh, Fallen Cecilia, but yeah, it didn't happen. 
That ring, 11 speed is really cool. That's really solid 40 speed on the speed set. Even the step stats, man, these boots are insane. They are insane, unfortunately, they are on auxiliary lots. Um, kinda want a six star auxiliary lots, but I don't farm uh, Wyvern enough to have like good survival on the speed gear. But that's really it for this one, guys. Um, I mean, I, I hope this, uh, uh, maybe you, you learned something or uh, this like, uh, this motivates you to push into legend or maybe there's a new server that opens up and you just like, yo, that sounds really cool. I'll just like give it a shot or maybe you're playing on global and kind of tired of the meta and you're like, all right, I'll just start a new account. And I mean, you're not too far uh, behind. It's It's been, there it is. I'll end on that. It's been 39 days. And it's not that much compared to global, man. They are, they're over eight months in. So yeah, just th th that's a massive difference. So yeah. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon for you to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts, Arena, Guild Wars, Guide Tips and How Tos, and Abyss 462 Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And good luck with all you do in the game. Peace out for now.